Hello everyone, this is Bethany from Southern Couture and this is a video that so many of you have been asking for me to do for months now and I just regret that I haven't been able to get it done already but you are looking at the Theology Handbook from the Daily Grace Co. I shared on here before a video uh, walking you through their Bible handbook. So if you're interested in this one at all as well, down in the description there will be a link where you can check out this one on Daily Grace's site and also on um, my blog with that video walking you through and flipping through this one as well. Um, I will show some of the things that are similar about these as we um, walk through this one in just a minute. But that, has, that video has lots more detail um, than this one will on the Bible handbook. So, Theology Handbook from Daily Grace. It is gorgeous. I hope that you can see the true color. If you cannot, I am sorry. It is a deep, deep green, and it is gorgeous. I love that they have this nice, it's like a debossed, the um, title is. Um, down. It's like it's, you know, you can feel like a debossed, not embossed, but it's um, down in it. And it's just beautiful. It's this gold foiled title. The um, spine also has the same title um, in the gold foiling, just the same as um, the Bible handbook. So, you know, I've seen people put these on like shelves and in like their living room, you know, beside their TV or whatever. And they're gorgeous. Um, I love it. So if you have a shelf where you keep all your resources and things like this, this is beautiful. They're also gorgeous having sat out on like a coffee table or something where people will be coming over. And I think that's a great way to share the gospel and to get conversations started as well. So I love that. They have the same color um, bookmark as before, which is nice to have that in there to keep your place as well because it is a, a larger size book. I mean, this is a good size book. You can see my hand here. Um, and so that will kind of give you an idea. These are just also, let me mention some gel highlighters from Daily Grace Co. that I just have sitting here in case you're curious, but I will leave a link down below where you can grab any of these things from them and shop around. They do have the Theology Handbook and the Bible Handbook sold separately if you have one and you're needing the other one, but there is also a bundle. So if you're interested in doing both, you can check that out too. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll dive in, but I do want to say real quick, thank you, thank you to everyone who has requested this video. I do hope that it's helpful if you do have any questions or anything very specific about this book that I do not answer, leave them down in the comments. You can message me on Instagram, um, which, which is where I usually can see messages the quickest and I can get back with you. Also, I want to say that this video was requested and I have two other videos that have been much requested. So I'm going to let you guys vote in the comments down below which one you would like to see next. I did share my 2022 stack and my bread box for this year with all these tons of resources and things, including this one that I'm using this year and have been using some last year and will continue. And so many of you wanted to see all of those in much more detail. I shared them on Instagram in a post. I just didn't have time in January to be able to do it in something lengthy like I wanted to. So I want to do that now. So I'm going to be sharing all of those resources. I won't be able to go in tons of depth of each one because, you know, there are so many, but that will give you kind of an idea if there's something you like and you want to grab. So pick between that video with my resources, my stack, or doing an extensive review flip through of the Fire Bible. I've been sharing how I've been using it. It was new to me um, this year and I want to share more of it because it is such an incredible Bible. I absolutely adore it and wish I had got it sooner. So I'll be sharing it in a lot more um, detail, but you guys let me know. I will share both of them soon, but let me know which one you want first. This 2022 stack with those resources or the Fire Bible. Okay, so let me know in the comments um, down below. But let's go ahead and dive into the Theology Handbook. I love too, I didn't mention it's this canvas hardback cover. So it just makes such a beautiful book. It doesn't really necessarily look like a resource book or something like that dictionary you know whatever um it's just so gorgeous and i love that they were very intentional about that so that it is something that you can have and pass it down as an heirloom as well or you know as a for your children and a legacy there i don't like writing in my bible handbook either just because I like to, um, you know, I want this to be something, like I said, that you could keep out if you wanted or have on a shelf where people could see. And real quick, I want to show you the difference. This Theology Handbook, if you have Bible Handbook, it is a little bit slimmer, not quite as many pages as the Bible Handbook, but it is still a great size, as you can tell there. It's um, 
it is a nice size and thickness. So, and then also on the back, it has the Daily Grace logo in um, the gold foil boom there as well. So, we'll go ahead and we'll dive in here to it um, so you can see. I want to go over this specifically because I'm not going to be flipping through every single page. And I want to just share with you um, some of the intro pages in more detail. And then I want you to see um, all of these topics. So, I want to say this too. If I butcher any of these words, please forgive me. I am very Southern, as you can probably tell. And if I butcher something, I'm very, very sorry. I am not a Bible scholar. Um, I just find things that are helpful and I want to share them with you guys. So over here, you're going to see where you've got what is theology, why it's important, the different types, systematic theology, primary, secondary, tertiary issues, and then branches of systematic theology. Okay. If I said systemic, I meant systematic. Okay, sorry. <laughs> then you have the theology um, proper. And so you'll go through there's general revelation, special revelations, the Trinity, all of these things. I really love, too, that they have a whole section on just the attributes of God. They also have a Bible uh, study guide on that, which I would love to work through it. But I love that those are included here. So this would be cool to put along with that study guide um, and really dive even deeper. And then you'll, so you'll see a lot of the topics. I want to leave that there just so you can kind of see, because I know a lot of you um, have been asking me what are some of the things that are included. Then you have Bibliology, talking about um, all about scripture, original languages, Bible translations. I know a lot of us get where we are curious about that. Um, anthropology, you'll see there, image of God, creation, what is sin, the fall, um, all of those. Then Christology, talking about incarnation, the deity of Christ, the humanity of Christ, resurrection, crucifixion, all of that. Soteriology, an overview of how to be saved, election, calling, regeneration, conversion. Um, so I'm just kind of leaving it there so you can get an idea without me having to read through all of them. Uh, pneumatology, the personhood of the Holy Spirit, and dwelling of the Holy Spirit, fruit of the Spirit, spiritual gifts, which I really love, um, and then ecclesiology, going over the universal church, regional church, or local church, the visible and invisible church, baptism, communion, things like that, church government, then you will see um, angelology, talking about angels and demons, then we have eschatology, the final judgment, new heaven, new earth, resurrection from the dead, and on and on. And then there's also some charts and illustrations. So I want to say this. If you see any words that you're like, I don't even know what those mean, this book is very helpful about explaining that. So we all have lots to learn. None of us are just absolute, complete experts and know everything. We're always learning something. So in the beginning of the book, I want to go over at least the intro pages because you'll see it talks about what is theology. And theology, it says, is what we believe about God and how he relates to the universe. He created the word theology, and it goes into those words that it comes from. Um, it even breaks it down here for you, which I really like that it goes into that. Why is theology important? Um, so we will talk about the impacts of theology. You'll see all of these different things here, um, loving God and loving others. So I love that they include charts and graphs because a lot of times the visuals make it so much easier for people to, you know, really understand and be able to, um, to really grasp and learn. So I love that they've done that. Then you go over to um, types of theology, systematic theology, biblical theology, historical, practical um, and then those types are giving you the little visuals. So it's easy, quick, easy way to remember and learn it. And then you'll go into more detail over here. Um, I love how they've done that with this, okay? Then you've got systematic theology. And they'll go into that too. It says, we use systematic theology to help us answer the question, what does the Bible say about this in a way that reflects the whole of Scripture? So always just be sure, anything you read or study, that it lines up with the Word of God. If it's not the Word, you, you don't want any part of it. Okay, then we'll flip over. You're going to be talking about those different um, issues of the Christian faith. It says application. Then you've got branches of systematic theology, with um, all of the ones. These are basically all of those um, sections that I mentioned at the beginning on the table of contents. And then this is really, really awesome. So theology proper, the study of God, his character, and his works. These are the. This is what each section is going to do. It's going to tell you what this section is, a little bit about what it is, 
then it's going to tell you what questions you're going to find answered there. Who is God? What is God like? What does God do? And what I love, I love, 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 that you don't have to flip back to the table of contents, as you'll see in this section, all of those sub contents that were listed at the beginning, you'll see all of those listed here including like the attributes of God. I love that they did that. So if you're wanting to a quick reference to see something, you've got it. Or if you have a specific question you want answered and it's gonna let you know, is this the section where I need to be to read and understand that? You'll have general revelation, um, then special revelation. I won't go into all of them, like I said, what they're about. I just wanna kinda give you an, a look at these, um, the, some of the sections, so you can kind of see more of what's in here. And there's lots of reading, but there's also lots of charts and graphs um, and things like that to make this a lot more easier to understand than what you may seem like it. So we'll flip over. Let's maybe go on to the next one. And also what's really neat, if you'll notice, they're all pretty much color coded, which matches along, I believe, with the table of contents. So theology proper was like this mustard yellow. You will see that this bibliology, it'll change colors up here where it's flagged. And that just helps you if you're flipping through because this first section is a pretty big section. And then we'll go over here to... Um, there we go. So see, same thing with your title. What it is, a study of the Bible, questions that are being answered in this section, what's going to be um, in more detail. And then you can kind of see up here too, like I'm talking about the different colored sections. And that is how it will go all the way through each one so that you will know. I love this too, that it has um, word for word thought for thought, and then how things are paraphrased, like the message. And then you've got all of these over here um, to kind of give you an idea of that, which is fun. Not fun, but helpful. Um, so you can kind of see where things are landing. Um, so you can just see all of these things here. We've got um, Christology and the incarnation of Christ is his embodiment in the flesh. I love that. The deity of Christ. I'm going to flip back here to the back and I want to go show you um, just to make sure you can see the appendix has other um, a topical reference. So if there's certain things that you're kind of curious about, let's say you're wanting to know about um, where it talks about the angel of the Lord in scripture, there it is. You'll know right where to go. So you can kind of see some things like that um, that are mentioned. If there's anything specific, it kind of gives you a chart here to be able to look that up, um, you know, with several pages. And then that is it. Okay. So if you have any specific question, I feel like I um, didn't rush, but I didn't want to go through every single page and it would just be way too exhaustive of a video to do that. But I wanted you to be able to at least see what's included in it and how it's organized and all of those extras, the charts, the graphs, the images that will help you with learning and understanding it. I feel like this is one of these that's great when you're studying deeper in the Bible, like me personally, you know, y'all know that I studied Revelations last year, moving into Daniel now. And so there's a lot of things in here that are going to be very helpful for me, like the final judgment, new heaven and new earth, resurrection from the dead, the millennial views, things like that, that I'm going to pull from this to be reading, as well as when I went through Bible handbook, I looked at a lot of the things that were in the back in that section for Revelation. So that's a way that you can pull things from here. If you're studying on something specific, and let's say you're looking at all the ways of angels in the Bible, then you have this here in this whole section. Um, with Lent coming um, soon, we have the crucifixion, resurrection, ascension, and all of that that you could dive in deeper in this book. So I love that there are so many ways to pull this. I do take um, breaks on Sundays from social media and other things like that. My phone a lot, email. I don't like surfing the internet, doing anything a lot like that on Sundays. So um, this is a great way. I feel like I need to do be more intentional with this to pull this out and um, go through it and just start reading a chapter or something that caught, grabs my attention, like pulling from the study that I'm doing separate and just going another level with it here. And this would be a great way to read that. Like I said, they have the attributes of God's study at Daily Grace. So if you're grabbing this, you could grab that along with it and have some more content that would go more in depth with it as well. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how this book is laid out. If you are interested, make sure you go grab that from Daily Grace Co. There will be links down below where you can check that out. 
Um, like I said, it goes great along with some of their other studies. They do have the Bible handbook, which I've linked down below. Also, the review video I did flipping through it, so be sure to check it out if you haven't already. Any specific questions that you have, please just let me know down in the comments or send me an Instagram message. Um, I would be glad to help you. And also, vote on your video in the comments below if you want to see my 2022 stack in more detail or that Fire Bible review I will be sharing both of those soon, but I don't know which one to do next, so let me know in the comments and I will tally up those votes. All right, make sure you're subscribed. Click that bell icon and I will see you guys again very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.